about to get real, it's coming out of the clothes. What is up, fishing fam? You already know who it is. We back for another episode. I got my buddy Hoss with me today. Yeah, yeah. We about to get after him, y'all. Stay tuned. Now, Hoss over here on the struggle bus. <laughs> We're almost there, buddy. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm waiting on you. Your paddle, your paddle is crooked though. Yeah. <laughs> Good lord, boy. I'm starting to think it's story time now. So let me tell y'all a little story about old Hoss here. <laughs> we all took a nice little uh, trip to Lake Phelps. Decided to camp this particular weekend. First of all, the camping was a bad idea. Let me tell you. I'm, yeah, that was terrible on it. Someone's front yard. It, yeah, it was almost like we were camping in somebody's front yard, but whatever. E either way, we, we were by the water. We were happy. So I brought a couple kayaks, and uh, we had a spare kayak that earned a, a super nickname. We'll tell y'all about it a little bit later in the story. You remember the old red, red kayak, don't you, buddy? This thing was one of them sit-inside kayaks. And it had like the V-shaped bottom, no stability whatsoever. He's riding on the Rolls Royce right now compared to what he was in that day. Anyway, nobody nobody wanted to get into that thing. And old Hoss over here, he's he's pretty experienced in kayaking. He used to do the sport kayaking. So he decided to brave it out. I, I'll get in it. Well, first of all, Hoss is a little over 300 pounds. And this kayak might have been nine foot long and it was a sit inside. <laughs> I don't know how Hoss fit in there. <laughs> he sat in that thing and he looked like a bobble doll <laughs> trying, to, trying to keep the balance. <laughs> yeah. We don't get 25 yards down, down the lake and he's already flipped that thing. <laughs> I look over at him, he's in the water. Good thing uh, Lake Phelps is a real shallow water. It's clear, beautiful. Y'all haven't been there, you need to go check it out. It also wasn't 20 degrees like it is today. And it wasn't 20 degrees like it is today. Anyhow, so he flips it once, gets it back up, gets the water out, gets another 20, 30 yards up, <laughs> flips it again. This guy flipped this kayak a good four times at least. I'm trying to fish. I'm actually getting on the bass pretty good this day. I'm checking on old Hoss over there. Every time I turn around, he's flipping over in that little red kayak. So the very last time I looked back there, and it, I swear, y'all, it was like it was in slow motion. As, as he was falling in, he said, I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I go over there. He looks totally defeated. I go over there, help him get the water out of the kayak. We, we're about maybe waist deep in water. It isn't bad. Actually feels good. He said, man, I'm going back. He was already a good 150, 200 yards from the dock. And he walks that thing back. <laughs> you saw a snake too, didn't you? Hoss walks it back. Me, me and my nephew, we keep fishing. We come on back about two hours later. Hoss is laid up on the dock drunk. <laughs> he said he had enough. So from that day on, that little red kayak <laughs> earned the nickname the Red Dragon. Yeah, Daniel said he's never tipped it. I, I call him bluff on that one. But. Yeah, that's the story of the Red Dragon, people. Go check out Lake Phelps sometime. I think a little bit of Hoss's ego still lays there. <laughs> <laughs> 